We met in a log home bed and breakfast in the mountains of West Virginia. So we've come full circle, meeting in the log home bed and breakfast and now owning one. Willie Docto, co-owner of the Moose Meadow Lodge in Waterbury, Vermont. Greg Trulson, co-owner of the Moose Meadow Lodge, Waterbury, Vermont. Technically, Duxbury. We're, we're physically in Duxbury. We're physically Our neighbors in get mad at us because we say Waterbury. That's right. <laughs> but, but the reason, you see, Duxbury is so small, they use Waterbury zip code. We have uh, 86 acres. It's, it's kind of a destination property because of all the things that, are, that you can do while you're here. And the whole idea of the experience of being here at Moose Metal Lodge is just to decompress, do as little as you want, do as much as you want, but just, just enjoy yourselves while you are here on the property. Willie is the head of housekeeping. He's the head chef. Uh, vice president of oh, housekeeping. Uh, vice president Thank of housekeeping. You. Thank you. Uh, I'm a head of grounds, uh, groundskeeping. I'm a vice president of the of the lobby shop, Moose Meadow Lodge lobby shop, and I'm also the Moose Meadow Lodge concierge. So if there's anything in particular that guests want to know what's going on in Vermont or this area, they see me and I make sure that they get to see and do as much or as, as little as they want of all the activities happening here in Vermont. One of the things that we enjoy seeing is when guests come and meet other guests at breakfast. You know, that's part of the fun of is to, to meet other people and, and share meals with them. We try to use as many Vermont products as possible. Our sausages are from Vermont, our bacon. bacon. We make our own maple syrup. We want to make sure that their experience is not just a place to sleep and a place to eat, but they have an experience, something they did not expect when they came here. I think we're really in the business of creating memories for people. Guests, when they cross the border into Vermont, they say, as soon as we cross the border, things look different. It's, it's a completely different feel when you enter the state of Vermont. It's a little slice of heaven right here in Vermont. 